Hi everybody, it's Jamie Jarka from Little Monsters Art um, here to paint an Easter inspired picture with you. And um, actually my six year old daughter, Bryn, helped me choose this little bunny picture, which I thought was super cute. Uh, it doesn't have to look exactly like this at the end. You can change around your background, you can change around any of the colors that are on here, but um, I'm gonna show you first how to draw it out and then we'll start our painting, okay? So a couple of things that you're going to need, and thank you if you purchase the kit, you've got all the colors, you have your paintbrush, and you have your canvas. If you're just doing this following along at home with your own supplies, you're going to need some paint. You're gonna need a variety of colors. I have everything more pastel -y colors, I've got pink, purple, blue, green, you need white. Um, I didn't put red in here, and I actually have silver in here um, and orange, okay? So you do need a lot of colors. You also will need some type of a paintbrush, um, a paper towel, something to cover your work area so that you don't get it all over your table or wherever you're, you're working. Um, you're gonna need a pencil because you're gonna be drawing it out. And then you're gonna need some kind of a canvas or a piece of paper to work on. It could be large, it could be small, that is completely up to you, okay? So what I did is I chose a picture. This is more of a vertical picture. It's kind of tall like a building, it goes up and down. And I'm going to also hold my canvas tall like a building, they call that vertical, okay? And I'm gonna start drawing. I'm going to actually draw mine with Sharpie so that it's easier for you to see. Um, if at any time I'm going a little too fast for you, but the beautiful thing about the video is that you can just pause it and then resume whenever you are ready, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to figure out where the grass is going to come up. I don't want it to go up too high, so I wanna maybe about four inches. So if you look at the bottom, a couple inches up from the corner, about four inches if you know how to measure, you take your fingers like this, that's about four inches. You're just going to draw a line, a horizontal line from one side to the other, okay? And this is going to represent your grass. This is going to be your sky. Now mine's gonna look a little awkward because I'm using a Sharpie. You're going to be using a pencil, so you're gonna see some of my lines going over other lines. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is draw my egg. And what shape would an egg be? What's a good shape for an egg? Not a square, not a circle, but yes, an oval. So we're gonna use an oval shape for our egg. We just wanna make sure that we don't make our egg way, way, way too big because then we won't have room for our bunny's ears and everything up here. So be very, very mindful of where you're going to place your egg. You do not want it to go more than halfway up your piece of paper. Okay, so if your egg is like all the way up here, you're not gonna have room for your bunny's head. So just, if you, um, you know, split your canvas in half, it's right about here. I wouldn't go up too much higher than that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the center about halfway down and I'm going to draw an oval and it does not have to be perfect. Okay, an oval should be a little bit smaller at one end than the other. Okay, now see how you see my line right here? That's because I'm using Sharpie. If you're using pencil, you could still see the line, but if you wanted to, you could erase that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is where I'm going to place the bunny's hands. His little um, hands are gonna go up at the top, and I'm gonna do a circle here and a circle here. So I'm gonna do one on this side, and then I'm going to do one on this side, okay? Then I'm going to move down to the feet. Now, some of you might be okay with drawing out the shape of a foot or his paw, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to show you two different ways. So the first way, and you wanna make sure that your feet are gonna be off to the side. You don't want them down here. So you want one on the left and one on the right. The first way would just be drawing the shape of a paw. It's actually a little bit larger at the top and then comes in a little smaller at the bottom. So I would take my pencil and very carefully making it a little larger. It almost looks like the shape of like a, a skull, okay? If you can't do it like that, another way to do it would be to draw out the little um, pads on the paws. One, two, three, all in a row. 
and then the larger one goes at the bottom and then kind of going around that with your pencil. Okay, so there were two options. You wanna have it look like he's resting in the grass, so you don't wanna make these too high and you don't wanna make them directly under your egg. So they wanna be off to the side. So one option was to draw and make it look like a skull uh, kind of shape, like a little bit bigger and then it gets smaller. And the other option was to just draw three circles, one, and then a little bit larger in the center, and then another one, and then the largest circle at the bottom and go around that whole shape, okay? Now again, you can still see my lines, and that's okay, because I'm gonna paint over it anyway. Um, yours you're doing in pencil, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. Mine, it's it could show through a little bit, so I don't recommend you drawing with a Sharpie. I'm just doing it for the video, okay? The next thing is his head. Now, some of you might want his head to be straight, uh, in this painting in particular, his head is off to the side a little bit. So I am going to continue doing it off to the side so I could show you how to do um, the ear like it's flopping. If you were to do your head here and you wanted both of the ears to just be straight, that's fine. But I'm gonna do mine off to the side because I'm gonna do a floppy ear and one that's kind of sticking straight up, okay? So I'm gonna start by drawing the shape of his head and it can be more of like, um, a circle or you can make it more like an oval that is up to you but I'm gonna start by making uh, a circle but mine's gonna go off to the side just a little bit okay and now I'm not gonna have a lot of room for like gigantic ears going straight up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shape it's almost like a leaf shape it's gonna start by going all the way to the top almost where I'm going off my canvas now some of you your ear might go off the canvas a little bit and that's okay that makes a really cool composition. That means the way that you're arranging things on your, your um, canvas or your paper. I'm gonna also start on the other side, but this one I'm gonna curve the opposite direction. So this one I curved in, almost like a C, and this one's kind of like a backwards C. So not too far away or else his ears are gonna look really wide. I'm gonna make it pretty close to the other one. I'm gonna come up and go in. Okay, so there's one ear. My other ear is gonna be a little bit different. You want them to kind of look like they're the same size. The best way for me to describe this ear to you, and if I'm going too fast again, you can always rewind, is to give it a little bit of space in between where his other ear is. So I'm gonna start right about here, okay? I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna come down, almost like a, I don't even know, like a, a pointy, like a, an N, I guess you can call it, but I'm gonna come up and I'm not gonna make it as tall as this one or else it's gonna look really, really big. So I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna curve it down, okay? So I really don't know what kind of shape, to, or not shape, but I, I don't know what to call that other than maybe like an N, but very long on the one side, okay? And then I'm going to actually come back up near this point, well, not near it, um, but kind of going towards that point. I'm gonna go up, okay? And then I'm going to just go and curve this line in, okay? So we're going up and then swooping it down pretty far. And then we're going to meet back up towards the center again, but not all the way up there. And then just draw a little line here, okay? And then you wanna draw out the inside of the ear. And this inside of the ear is gonna look a little bit different. I'm actually gonna extend this line a little bit come in here and go out to that line you won't see the inside of the ear on this portion over here because that's actually the outer portion of his ear okay so we've got this ear done we've got the floppy ear done we've got our hands um, our little feet paws and now the only thing that is left is to figure out what you're doing for the face now you can have your eyes open you can have them closed um, I'm going to use a little, almost like a heart shape for my nose. So about halfway where my circle is, I'm gonna draw out the nose and I'm going to put like a J and a little backwards J for my mouth. And then I'm gonna decide my eyes later because your eyes can be opened if you want or you can just make them look like they're closed with the eyelashes, okay? You don't have to decide those things right now. But right now I'm ready to start painting um, your bunny, everything looks good. You have all of your, you wanna just draw these in too. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Two, three circles, and then a large circle at the bottom. 
I tried to make them the same size because if they're too different in size, they're gonna look a little awkward. But we're, um, you know, this looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna put in one, two lines for my hand, one, two lines for his little hands, okay? All right, so now we're gonna be getting ready to start painting. So you could put your pencil down, make sure you have your colors, make sure you have your paintbrush and some water and a paper towel because you're gonna, of course, need a paper towel, okay? All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now we are ready to paint and I'm going to start by painting my bunny and I am going to actually do with the pink part in his little paws and up in his ears, okay? So I am going to start by dipping into some white paint and your bunny does not have to be white. He can be gray, he can be whatever color you want him to be. I'm just going to choose white. I may actually put a little tiny bit of black in mine too and make him a little gray in certain areas, but I'll show you that in a few minutes. I just wanna get a layer of paint on him now and I know that you're probably thinking, why do I have to paint him white if he's already white? Well, you don't wanna leave the canvas um, blank in certain areas so it's good to make sure that the whole thing is covered in some kind of paint and I, I do like the way it looks a lot smoother um, if not the canvas it just looks a little rough okay even if you're using a piece of paper I recommend that you still if you have paint and you're using paint to just fill it in okay so I'm going to paint his face his ears his paws and then you won't be able to see these lines as much also and then when I'm finished, I'm going to take a light pink that I have and I'm going to paint inside of his ears and his little paws down here, okay? Okay, so we have a little guest appearance from my four-year-old that came and then wanted to draw and now he wants to paint. So he has his apron on and he's ready to go. And now we are ready to start painting the sky of our bunny. Okay, so now it is time to pick out a color for your sky. This is going to be drying. I'm gonna start up at the top. You can always flip your canvas if you're using an easel. I know most of you are probably not using an easel. You're probably like resting it on the table, but you could always flip it if you can't reach a certain area. I am gonna start at the top. I'm gonna make sure I do the sides of my canvas if you are using a canvas because you, you, you know, if you hang it on the wall, it'll look a lot better. You are going to pick a color for your background. Now this artist chose a variety of colors. They did um, almost like stripes of colors. Not that artist, Bob Ross. <laughs> okay, this is not done by Bob Ross. But anyway, so I'm gonna pick out one color for my background and then I'm actually gonna choose a green for the bottom next. I have a green in the kit. If you want it to be a little bit more of a limey green, you're gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to your color. Um, or to your green, but I'm gonna start up at the top. I'm gonna do my blue, because that's what I'm gonna choose is a light blue for mine. And then I'm going to paint the, the grass down in the bottom green. I'm actually probably not gonna do too much of a limey green, so I'll probably just do it the regular green that was in the kit, and then add a tiny bit of yellow, okay? And I'll make it a little bit more of a limey kind of green, okay? So have fun, this is gonna take a little bit of time. Just make sure you, you wash your brush really good when you tr change your colors and dab him on the paper towel to dry him so it's not like leaking all over the place, okay? So you're gonna simply start by taking your paintbrush, dipping it into the color that you want, okay? And going from side to side, okay? You don't want it to touch the areas that are too wet, but if it does, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top section work my way down, make sure I get the sides of my canvas if you're working on a canvas. Okay, and then when we're done doing all of the blue, I'm going to do the green down here. Okay, so have fun, this is gonna take a little while. Okay, ready, baby? So now it's time to decorate your egg. You can leave the egg white 
and decorate on top of it. I mean, it is the color of the canvas, so I would recommend painting it white first and letting it dry. Or you can paint the egg a color. I am going to actually paint my egg a color. I'm gonna use a light purple for this one. Okay, and I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to do the whole thing purple and then I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then I'm gonna paint some designs on top. I'm basically doing that because I wanna cover up this line down at the bottom. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can just start putting different designs on. You can do zigzag lines, you can do hearts, you can do polka dots, you can do swirls. You can do, um, you can write like a, a word or something on there if you wanted to write Happy Easter or the name of your family or whatever you want to do. But I am going to paint mine a solid color first. I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to actually put some designs on top of the purple, okay? Now while I'm waiting for this to dry, I am going to also put a couple designs in my sky. Okay. I know that in the painting, in this picture, they chose to do like stripes in their sky and then they had all this busyness in the egg. So I don't want mine to be too, too busy, but I'm going to do a couple little things in the background um, while this is drying. And then as soon as this is done drying, I'm going to add some cool designs to my egg as well. Okay. So this is going to take probably about five, five minutes. When it's not shiny anymore, then we know that it's dry. Okay, and I picked a light purple for this. You do not have to do the same colors. This is just what I chose. But while this is drying, I'm gonna do some fun stuff up in my sky. Okay? So now that I did some designs in my background and I just did simple things like swirls and little polka dots in the background and then I decorated my egg, I'm going to put a little bit of white lines down here in my um, grass and I'm simply going to be doing that by just taking um, my paintbrush and just kind of going in a horizontal, you know, like the direction, just going from side to side and just painting a little bit of white down there. Um, you can paint your grass to make it look like it's going up. It doesn't really make a difference, uh, however you prefer. And then I'm actually going to, when I'm finished doing that, I'm going to paint his eyeballs on. Now you can make them open and you would just do a circle with like a little white line on the inside. Um, or you can make them look like they're closed. I think that what I'll do is I'll probably make them look like they're open. Okay, I'm gonna dip into a little bit of black. And I'm gonna go not too close to each other, but not, you know, like super far away. I'm gonna make like a little oval with the tip of my brush. So I'm just dipping it in some black. Okay, now if you were gonna do it closed, you would take your paintbrush and just kind of make it look like um, a little baby you. And then you can give him some, oops, you can give him a little bit of um, eyelash if you want. But because, um, you know, I don't want one open and one closed, I'm just going to, I gotta dry off my paintbrush a little bit. It's getting a little bit too wet. I'm just taking my finger and cleaning that off, but I'm going to just kind of do another eyeball right here. Okay, if your paintbrush is really, really super wet, sometimes it will drip like that. Now my eyeballs kind of look like they're different sizes, so I'm just gonna make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm probably gonna actually do another coat of paint on this in like a few minutes when it dries to make it really, really nice black. Um, you can also fill in your nose. Um, you might want your nose pink, you might want it black, that's completely up to you. I'm going to actually just do mine a brighter pink. Okay, just make sure when you clean off your brush, you make sure that it's not soaking wet or it's just going to drip everywhere. So here's my little nose. Mine looks like kind of like the shape of a heart. All right, and then I'm going to actually put little designs. I've just decided this, like a W or it looks like a V. I'm gonna put this up in his ears. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it would look cute. Okay, and then I'm going to redo some of my paws, the little pad part of the paw, just to make it pop out. Now remember, I did mine, like I outlined mine with Sharpie, so it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna, you're gonna still see that Sharpie kind of shining through there. You will not be outlining yours with Sharpie. 
okay that was just because I wanted you to be able to see me drawing okay but now this kind of matches the ears which I like okay so the only other two things that we're going to do is we can do the outlining if you choose to with some black to make it really pop out and the only reason why I think I'm gonna do that to mine is because I already have this sharpie kind of showing so I'm just gonna dip in to the tip of my brush and kind of outline everything now again you don't have to do this it's just gonna make it it's gonna give it a whole different kind of feel it's just because mine was already outlined in that sharpie and you could still see it pretty well that I'm gonna outline mine Okay, I'm gonna outline the hands and the little lines for the hands. It's important to do things when it's pretty dry too, because if not, it's not going to, um, it's gonna blend into the color that's underneath. Okay, and like I said, if you wanted to write something on your egg, you didn't need to put like, you know, the designs and stuff, but that's just how I chose to do mine. Okay, I'm just going over every little, area as carefully as I can using the tip of my brush and again it's gonna give it a whole different feel um, because I outlined mine with the Sharpie I don't know if I love this but you know I'm just going with it at this point okay that'll really make it look like it's kind of popping off though again you do not have to do this I'm just doing it because my Sharpie is really really showing okay um, so by the time I'm done doing this I can do the little white on the inside of my eye and do his whiskers oh dear okay his nose is kind of dripping a little bit so I'm just gonna kind of wet it and then get a clean part of a paper towel and just wipe it when you're working on a canvas, it's easier to do this than if you're working on a piece of paper. Okay, but sometimes this happens, all right? But the good thing is anything is possible to fix. Okay, so I'll just go over that with the pink again. And I'm gonna continue on with the black. Okay, um, I see a couple areas that I still have to get to. everything that I did in Sharpie and then the sides okay. even this area that I did with the Sharpie again you don't have to do this I'm just doing it because my Sharpie was showing through so so much that it just kind of looked a little silly okay I did not do this side yet Uh, his nose is a little wet, so I'll hold off on that. And I'm going to outline the eyes again because they're pretty dry now. And then fix this up. And fix this. And then very carefully, like I said, once you start, though, it's it's you can't really stop. You kind of have to outline everything. So here's one. So if you don't have to do this, I don't really recommend it, but again, I did mine because my Sharpie was just really showing through badly today. Okay, so I hope that no matter what you chose to do, you really love your artwork. I'm sure it looks amazing and beautiful. And this way you have something to hang up for Easter. Actually, it doesn't have to just be for Easter. You can hang it up throughout the entire year okay I'm sure it's beautiful and you'd love to show it off so again the only other things that we do have to do is a little bit of white in the eye and sometimes I use the opposite end of my paintbrush and I just kind of put it on there and then we're going to clean off our brush and I'm just going to do the little whiskers I'm going to use a little tiny bit of pink for the little circle on his cheekies and then I'm going to take a little bit of white and a tiny bit of black and kind of mix them together so I can make like a light gray and you can mix on a plate you can mix on your paper towel because you only need like a tiny bit you don't want to push 
with your paintbrush like super super hard you just want to kind of go out from that little circle or go in to the little circle but just very gently okay and then that's it you're all finished okay I hope you had a good time I know that you know our paintings are all gonna come out very, very different. Um, again, remember I had to outline with the black because I started off with the Sharpie and that was a little too intense. So that's why I ended up outlining everything in black. You do not have to outline everything in black. Um, obviously this one, they just did a little bit of black. You don't have to do the black at all. Um, it is very important that you wait for your artwork to be dry before you add other colors though or else you could see that it could start smearing, okay? Um, I hope you had fun. I hope that you join us again um, next week for our next art lesson. I hope that you are staying healthy and um, I can't wait to see you back and paint with you soon. Okay, thank you.